Yo, Yo this jagged ass. And we're kicking it with you know I got soul, man. So y'all keep it locked, all right? Because we do. Yeah. Guys, Jagged Edge, the new album, J.E. Heartbreak 2. It's out now. Um, named after your signature album, J.E. Heartbreak. Yes. In what way did, did the original influence this one? Uh, I think the, the, the biggest way, I guess the, the relation for, um, to those two projects for us is that we felt when J. Heartbreak came out, we was making some of the best music of our career. And we felt like at this point in time, we needed to. Um, and so we kind of drew the inspiration. We, we, kind, of, we kind of used the, the model in terms of it all being about relationships and heartbreak and things like that. So that's, that's probably the biggest relation. Yeah. What, how important was it to add um, JD and B. Cox back into the mix? You know, what were they able to bring to the table again this time around? For us, it was extremely important to add JD and Brian, Brian Cox back into the mix. Back into the mix um, because they were, you know, our original collaboration partners on the first project. So for us to do this the right way, we felt like we had to bring them back in the loop. Yeah. Definitely. I found it interesting on the intro of the album, you have a quote from Tyrese saying Arby's in an insecure place. Mm -hmm. How important was it to include that and what statement are you trying to make with that? Um, honestly, that was JD's idea. And I, I mean, I heard his reasoning behind it, which is that, you know, when, when we were making this album, we were, we were all getting together um, in terms of where we wanted to take it, mm -hmm. um, in terms of the topic of the album. And um, he came across these sound bites that which you know ended up being the intro for the album, but all of those sound bites basically expressed the same thing, which was that R and B, the way that we know it and love it, ain't here no more. Right. It's almost it's almost non-existent unless you put a rapper right. uh, either the front, middle, or the end of your song. You don't get the same type of attention, right. and so you know it's, we all agree that that's that's pretty much the truth. Right. Yeah. So yeah, it's important to this album. Yeah. Now the last album was the remedy. You know, I felt like it kind of advanced your guys' sounds. You, you, you know, you did a little, um, took it a little bit further. Mm -hmm. You know, up to date with R and B. Yeah. How important was it for you to guys to look back on what you've done earlier in your career and kind of revisit some of your earlier work? Um, it was really important for us to kind of revisit the older work, just because you get to a point where you make songs and you make so many songs that you do forget old things you used to do. Right. So in order to get that back, you gotta go, you know, refresh your, your memory, refresh the, the whole vibe, just, you know, live in it a little bit. So, you know, I think, at least for me, I went back and I listened to um, our first album. I listened to J.E. Heartbreak, I listened to Jagged Little Thrill. I didn't get too much past that because that's that would be kind of where we at now. So I did listen to some of those records, but um, I think the main thing I did for this album was just be free. It's like you want to get into that vibe, but you can't just trace a path. Exactly. You can't trace your old path. Mm -hmm. So it's like, you know, fill your head with it and then go in there and just be free with it. Right. Now, the the J.E. Heartbreak album that's looked at as a classic, one of the best albums of the 2000s of R&B, was there any pressure on you guys to live up to the original by, by naming this one J.E. Heartbreak 2? Yeah, that was definitely a pressure uh, for us to live up to, because that's, J, the actual original J.E. Heartbreak was, is our biggest record still to this day, still a record to this day. And um, I mean, there was pressure because you, you don't want to, you know, um, undermine the process. You don't want to, you don't want to, you know, do have, do lesser than what what's expected. Right. And our fans expect, you know, the, the, the same result as first time. So, I mean, we just, we just wanted to give our fans what they wanted. Right. And now, you know, we re put out a review of the album and we're tough critics and we said this that indeed lived up to the original. We, we put it right there. Now, when you guys look back at this body of work, now it's complete, how do you see it living up to the original? I mean, <clears throat> with people like yourself and, you know, some of the other publications we read who, who waited on the album, the feedback has been good. So for us to live up to that, it, it would kind of have to come from y'all. You know what I mean? In our minds, we always give y'all 150. You know what I mean? In our minds, we love every song we ever made. You right, know what I mean? Right. So that would have to come from y'all. And if y'all say that y'all feel like it lived up to it, then oh, yeah, we, we on to the next project. That's it. But right. you know what? And I think, I think it's, it's, a, it's about the way that you judge it. Like, I don't think just because of, just, just because of where we are and the time in this industry, it ain't gonna sell it. Well, I, I hate to say it ain't, but the chances are it might not sell as well as the first one did. And we choose, you know, we don't choose to make that our benchmark for success is mm -hmm. how many records it sells. Right. Um, what what our benchmark for success is 
were we able to stay consistent with the level of of, of material that we make? And exactly. I think we were. Exactly. I think we awesome. were. Great job, guys. Thank you. Now, um, the single Hope is out now. It's doing really well at radio, picking up steam. Um, you guys have mentioned a new single is coming. Can you talk about that? Next single is um, a song called Getting Over You. Getting over you. Um, I think it's one of those songs that most guys can relate to because at some point in your life, whether it was kindergarten or, you know what I mean, sixth <laughs> grade, you lost that girl that it took you a while to get over. Right. So this, this song is just taken from the standpoint of since you know that, you, like you're kind of standing back and asking yourself, is this situation going to be one of those situations that takes me my whole life to get over? Mm -hmm. Right. I mean, How'd you guys decide on that being the one? Because you got some some choices on here. There's a lot of right. single potential, like Love Come Down is a favorite right. of ours, No Half Stepping. What love, made that love the one? That yeah, I love that record. I love that That's a but, bunch of good records, right. but um, we got a little insider insider um, right. that, that said that Jay is <laughs> working on the remix of that record oh, okay. to the next single. So yeah. <laughs> we can't wait. And as well as, I mean, we always try to listen to the fans, and a lot of fans have waited on that. They wait on every record, seems right. like. Right. So right. it does make it hard, but. We have had a nice concentrated effort towards that record. So right. Yeah, so we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. So you guys have been at this, you know, since the, the late nineties, I think seventeen years now, this is your eighth album. Yes. How far are you guys plan to keep taking this? You know, what's in store for the future? As long as the fans keep accepting us, we'll be here. We're not going anywhere. Mm -hmm. I mean, we're healthy. Um, thank God, and we know we're still looking, uh, you know, appropriate. appropriate. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody ain't got no cataracts. <laughs> still see and walk right. <laughs> so, yeah. and, and most importantly, our talent is still intact. You know, we right. we are we are you know the same. Like we fans of a lot of people too, so we got a chance to watch and sit back and see how some people's talent can't wasn't do, intact. How some people right. can't do them no more. Right, right. right. <laughs> right. You know what I mean? So I think we had that little bit of of a, a, a nod, a heads up, if you will, and we've kind of you know looked out for that. Right. right. Last question for you guys. I mean, it seems like every R and B group from the '90s, aside from you guys, has broken up, come back together. Like Jodeci's coming right. back together. Right. Drew Hill's broken up. Montel's right. broken up. Next, et cetera, come back together. Right. How do you guys manage to keep it together all these years? Just like yeah. that, I mean, seeing them do that and exactly. seeing them fall on their face with that. Exactly. You know what I mean? I'm not trying to be funny or knock anybody, but it's like, True. you know, if you have to, you shouldn't be the type of person who literally has to get burned by the fire. Sometimes right. you should be able to sit back and observe. And watch. Observe <laughs> the dude getting burned by the fire and learn, right. hey, I ain't got to go there. Exactly. So for us, yeah, that's what we did. I think we saw from day one, our favorite groups broke up. So it's like, right. why do we want to do that? Right. And, 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 and it definitely affects, you know what I'm saying, that 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 consumer, right? right you know what I'm saying, right. who grew up with you, because I mean, right. once I heard about New Edition, I'm like, what? man, yeah, hurts. What, what? <laughs> right. Call me, call my mama, <laughs> right. and let's see if we can get this together. You know what I'm saying? So, I mean, you know, and, and we as artists, you know, we first started. We we I don't think we understood the responsibility that that we had to carry, far as you know, being responsible to R and B. Because we never thought the R&B would be Go so away. fast right. Right. the way it is. And now we feel like we are so responsible right. to bring it back to the forefront and let people know that we stuck our guns. Exactly. And, and we represent it. And if we're going to take Jack to bring it back, by God, we'll do it. We're going to do it. <laughs> by God, we're here. That's my God and why. And you definitely did your part with Jay Heartbreak, too. Thanks, Thanks a lot, man. We appreciate that. Anything you guys want to add? I mean, the album's in stores right now, and our fans are the most important parts of our career. Yes. Man, hey, support your favorite band, Jagged Edge. Yeah. I want to say this, man. To all these little, all the questions we always get about other male groups, we don't have no beef with none of them guys. We yeah. don't. I don't no. think of, I ain't trying to be fun. I don't even think about them guys, so it definitely no. ain't no beef. Right. And no. so stop asking. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, hey, I'm good. All right. I don't say much no way. So this is a big day for me. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Positive. <laughs>